Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Just for your attention, Muslim comments is very important for us because they help us to educate you about how silly their argument can be and how to respond to that easy. Muslims, they try always to, uh, you know, it's like they don't have answers and they don't know what to say. So they try to like uh, get your nerve, like to make you upset. So just laugh and relax. Unless this dude start getting at least 50k view, I am wasting my time here. And my friend, I agree. I mean, only Allah knows best that a busy guy like you, who his wife practice breastfeeding for adult, he have no time following the teaching of Allah. I mean, imagine how much money you are losing by being here texting in my chat or my comment section. You should be giving tickets following the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad where he says that a woman, she should give her breast to, to, uh, uh, to an adult. And uh, what about different idea? I mean, why you are wasting your time sitting here when the Muslims now discussing that chimera urine can cure coronavirus? I mean, why you Muslims are buying medicine from America and Russia like crazy? It is the urine of the camel. Imagine if the urine of the camel can do this. What about the holy piss of the Prophet, which is we mentioned the article written by you Muslims about it in the previous video. If the camel can cure corona, the piss of the Prophet, which is holy, can do what? I heard that the price of one cup of camel urine, and you see here this doctor, he's a doctor by the way, Muslim doctor, he is drinking camel urine and says, drink it, it is the way to stop coronavirus. Yeah, too bad. The United Nations don't agree, says, stop doing that, coronavirus, or all viruses are exist in the camel milk and the camel urine, very dangerous. And additional to that, the urine can destroy your kidney, which is very simple to understand, especially the camel urine is very concentrated with acid. You are busy, you have no time. I understand. Maybe your daughter, she want to do muta. Eh, but, you know, imagine how much money she can make. I mean, if you can make turn, you know, like you, you are the one who reserve, take phone calls for your daughter, especially if she's good looking and she live in the Middle East. Now, he said more comments. Let us see more comments about what he said. Okay. He said... Tim Hamad, he said, that Jesus said, Allah, Allah, why have you forsaken me? Jesus says, Allah, Allah. <laughs> and look what he said here. Right here. Uh, Let the Muslim worship the God, the man on cross crying, cried out. Uh, what a big deal. You see, first of all, I do. I mean, those things, Muslim, by the way, this the same guy because he keep coming here. We answer those questions a million times, but it doesn't hurt to answer a billion times just to spank them for the joy. Jesus here is quoting the Old Testament prophecy about him. But isn't it Jesus, he says, you can destroy this temple and I can build it in three days? Talking about his body. So my friend, death cannot take Jesus. However, as long as you are mentioning this, saying, Worshipping the God man on cross cried out too. You just expose your prophet. Because if you agree that Jesus was on the cross, and for us this was a victory for Jesus, proving who is he, for death cannot take him and grave cannot hold him. But by saying what you said, you just prove to us that the Quran is a fraud. Are you with the Quran or against the Quran? Obviously you are against the Quran because you just said, yeah. Let Muslim worship the God, the man, on cross. Hold on. So you should not worship the God, the man, in the cross. You should worship Jesus, the Muslim. For Jesus, the Muslim, according to Muslims, never cried in the cross, as you are quoting here, which is a prophecy from the Old Testament, and never be in the cross. So you just admitted that Jesus must be God, for he never was there, according to the Islamic cult. So thank you for saying Muhammad is a fraud. Thank you for saying Jesus was truly in the cross and Muhammad is a liar. And thank you for saying that no Muslim should follow the Quran 
for Quran is stupid. In the same time, thank you for fabricating saying that Jesus says Allah, Allah. When Jesus, he said, who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son. And Muhammad Aka Allah is the one who denied the Father and the Son, which means according to Jesus, he is the Antichrist. So my friend, Jesus never have nothing to do with Allah except that he is going to defeat him for he is the name one of the names of the devil. In the top of that, as long as you are a person who refuse to worship God who die, according to your statement, right? Well, your God is dead. And your God is a man. Let us prove that. Uh, if we go in the Hadith, we will find this. And don't tell me this is die. People will laugh at you and they will spank you. And they will have ten fingers in your bum, not five. The Prophet SAWS, this is like a name of a FM station. And uh, uh, I have told you, he said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist. You must not believe that the devil is an Antichrist. That means he is God, which means Christ. Because you see, the devil is anti-God. To have a title of Antichrist, that means Christ is the most biggest enemy for the devil. You see, if I say Trump is challenging, uh, you know, a normal person, a bus driver, people will laugh. I mean, you are a president of America, he is a bus driver. We cannot compare in power, right? But when the devil he challenged, he challenged who? He don't challenge Muhammad. Muhammad worked for him. The devil is against Christ. The Antichrist. You must tell me even how dare you even to use that statement, yet you do not believe that Christ is God. By saying that statement here, you admitted that Christ is God. For the Dajjal will claim to be Christ. The Dajjal means liar, by the way. Uh, and he will do miracles which nobody do except Christ to convince you that he is a Christ. And look what your prophet said. The Antichrist is short, head to uh, woolly haired, one eyed and one an eye sightless, and neither uh, uh, like you know he's describing his body. I mean your God, your God, the Antichrist is not uh, uh, fat, is not he's a, like he's a he's a choppy, he is short. He have woolly hair, etc. And Muhammad continues saying, after describe him, he is not deep seated. If you are confused, if you are confused, confused about what, my friend? Confused about how he look like. That's why we describe. Confused about him and about Allah. So Muhammad is worried that you Muslims you will be confused about the one who will look supposedly like a Christ, or he will take claiming the look of a Christ and the personality of Christ, and the person of Christ, he says, don't worry, there is a way to dis decide who is Allah, and who is the Antichrist, how? He said, your Lord is not one-eyed, do you see it? Your Lord is not one-eyed. So your Lord is not one-eyed, while the Antichrist is one-eyed. So everything that Antichrist here, is exactly how Allah looked like, the only difference between them, is the one eye. So yes, your God Allah is a man, and he is uh, choppy, you know, like he have a big ass, but he's not too, not too big. He have a curly hair, he is short. Uh, I don't know how short he is, but he is short. You know, anyway, if we can fix that, we give him some high heels. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, and he, you know, I'm so glad that your God Allah have two eyes working, you know. And, you know, can you tell me how many, uh, how many eyes your God Allah have? Because when you say it, your uh, your eye, uh, your Lord, is not one-eyed. But he didn't say he have two eyes, right? But however, as long as he described between him and the false Messiah, that's mean he have two eyes. Question, why Allah have two eyes? And where he have them? In his knee, in his chest, in his forehead, in his back, in his neck. Maybe one eye in the left shoulder, one eye in the right shoulder. So the Muslims always, they give a propaganda that their God is not a man. But as you see, Muhammad himself is afraid that the Muslim will think that he is Allah, the Antichrist, which is a man. And the only difference between them is one eye. So Allah, obviously, is a man, and those people are con confused. Even your, your, your prophet, he says, even the Quran, which is not created, will come one day in the Day of Judgment as, a, like, in, in a look of a dead man. You know, he have no color in his face. 
So even the Quran for you is a man. Allah is a man. And as you see, the difference between them is just an eye. So when a Muslim speak about our God being a man, your God have hands, he have foot, he have a shin. I remember when, when the Prophet Mimi Hijab, Sister Mimi Hijab, uh, uh, may Allah bless her, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> her breastfeeding. He said to David Wood, you said Allah have parts. Who said so? <laughs> his eyes part, his hands part, his foot part. And, you know, when the Muslims deny in order to make a point, they make us laugh. And they make a lot of people leave Islam because a Muslim, a normal Muslim, who have a decency, he will see the comment. He will say, you know, we are lying to the Christians. We have no dignity, really. I don't respect them no more. He will leave Islam. And this is why we notice when we go live on air, people call us and they leave Islam live. They notice that there is no dignity in Muslim answers and there is no legitimate answer. They just try to make fun and mockery. But by doing mockery, they help us to return the mockery and mock their God, who is obviously fake. I mean, why in the world Muhammad is confused, or the Muslim will be confused, about the look of Allah and the look of the false Messiah, if Allah is not a man anyway? Why you want to describe that the only difference between them is one eye? Is Allah a man or he is not? If he is not, then they will not be confused. There is no need to say, oh, you need to know that Allah is not one eye. So this description is what? I'm afraid, Muhammad said to them. I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, that I'm afraid that you may not understand. There's a worry here that Muslims, they might go and worship the Messiah, the false Messiah, for he looked like the Messiah, and they will think that he is Allah, while he is not Allah. And now Muhammad is giving them a hint. This is the way to recognize that this is not Allah. Not because he is a man, no. Not because he is short, no. Not because those are description of Allah. The only difference between them is the right eye, one eye sightless. So when you say what you say, you made us laugh. And I say to you, my friend, don't waste your time. Go and do breastfeeding for adult. Let your girls do uh, prostitution, as the Quran says in the chapter of Al-Ahzab. You know, force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose a chastity. Uh, if they choose a chastity, what if they don't choose? It's okay. You know. <laughs> and if you if you force them, Allah is all merciful. No worry. <laughs> this is why there is no punishment in Islam for prostitution, because this is legal. It's halal, uh, as, especially as long you are using your slave girls. Uh, and maybe you know, advice. I'm just giving you Islamic ideas to invest your money in a halal way, like breastfeeding, muta, uh, breast prostitution, uh, sitting camel urine. Uh, oh, by the way, lice, the prophet, he used to have a lot of lice, and now they are saying lice, they are saying that lice is very healthy for the hair. Maybe you want to practice that too. You can open a store in Amazon saying lice. Uh, you can sell camel urine of the prophet if you have any samples left, you know, during the time of Muhammad somewhere. You know, you never know. They might save it. I, I saw a hair of the prophet growing. <laughs> the hair of the prophet growing, but Muhammad never grow. Neither his brain. Thank you guys for listening. Leave your comment and let us see what the Muhammadan will say. And you will notice they will answer nothing of, about what we say. They will talk about something else because they have no answers. Thank you. God bless you and miss you all.